my name is Gerard Laput, and I'm going to talk about my project as an intern at Adobe Research, Pixel Tone. Everyone takes pictures, but photo editing can be hard. So you have you do things such as learning how to adjust colors, select objects, and improve the lighting. But we've created a system that allows you to talk to your computer and tell it what you want to do with your image. For example, you could say something like, darken the midtones at the top and so that the effect is only applied to the top and to that tonal range, which is the midtone. And then a slider allows you to adjust the results. Then you could also say, increase the contrast at the bottom, and then it will improve the contrast only to the bottom part of that image. You can also use touch gestures to describe where to edit. Blur in this direction. So you can even use words that are not specific to photo editing. Now let's do some work on this picture of my friend, Sarah and John. One thing you could do is, is teach the system what's in the image. This is a shirt. And so the system tags it as a shirt and it will remember it. With face detection, you could tap on a face and say, this is Sarah. And this is John. And the system will remember Sarah and John and will only apply the effects to both Sarah and John. So you could say, change the color of the shirt. And adjust it using a slider. And then you could say, decrease the saturation on Sarah. And as you can see, the effect is only localized to Sarah's face. Both of them look a little dark and you could say, Brighten, Sarah, and John. And you can see the effect is only localized to Sarah and John. You can use a few gesture marks here and there. And you could say crop to here. And it'll crop it based on those gesture marks. And apply popular effects such as make it retro. So that was Pixel Tone. It was a way for you to edit your images using your voice and a couple of touch gestures. And the idea is to converge the simplicity of the applications that you see in your mobile phones with the richness of desktop applications such as Photoshop.